Hi, this is G from Native Speakers Academy, and welcome to 10 Minute English. This is where we introduce short articles from the news for upper intermediate and advanced level students. So, if you want more information about what we do, then you can find it at www.nsa-slovakia.com where we have a huge amount of resources and information available for both students and teachers. Information about languages, information about psychology, information about social education. Use the search box at the top to help you find what you want. Here's a, a documentary. Here's an idea. I'll just type in documentary and uh, we can go to visual records, the documentary sites, and you will see under the text a huge list of sites that provide online documentaries. If you've got a bit of time to kill, why not why not browse? See what you can find. There we go. So if you like, we've also got a YouTube channel. You can see it on the right. Native Speakers Academy official page with hundreds of videos with thousands of views. You could also visit my YouTube channel which I set up last week under the name Graham William Hendry and if you would like you could also visit my Pinterest site with thousands of resources on learning and education. It's up to you. Use it don't abuse it. Here we go. Today's article is going to appear on the screen in one second, I hope. There we go. Wild Children from History by Evan, or is it Evan? Who knows? Andrews. The original source for this text is from the history lists section of history.com here's a quick browse through the original article uh, so if you want more information about that if you want the um, the full article because I've edited it a little bit if you want the full article you can go to history.com and a link to the article will be posted together with this video online Right, let's get back. This is 10 Minute English, so we're going to try to get through this article in 10 minutes. As usual, I have highlighted the interesting and important vocabulary in yellow. You can check the vocabulary before we go through the text, or you can guess from the context and check it after. You might want to pause the video while you check the words. Let's do it. Wild Children from History by Evan Andrews According to legend, the city of Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, two twin boys who were born to a princess and abandoned in the wilderness as infants. History abounds with tales of kids who spent their early years in confinement or alone in the forest, often emerging with little knowledge of language or social cues. If you would like a little bit of background information on Romulus and Remus, you can go to Wikipedia and you can read through the text. 
Romulus and Remus are the twin brothers and main characters of Rome's founding myth. Their mother is Rhea Silvia, daughter of Numitor, king of Alba Longa. Before their conception, Numitor's brother Amulius seizes power, kills Numitor's male heirs, and forces Rhea Silva to become a vestal virgin sworn to chastity. Rhea Silvia conceives the twins by the god Mars, or by the demigod Hercules. Once the twins are born, Amulius has them abandoned to die in the river Tiber. Where have we heard that kind of story before? You can check it out in your own time. <coughs> Let's get back to our article. Wild children, wild children. So here are some examples. John of Liege. One of the earliest English language accounts of a feral child concerns John of Liege. I hope I have the pronunciation right. A boy who supposedly spent most of his youth in isolation in the Belgian wilderness. According to a 1644 account by... Sir Ken Elm Digby, John first fled to the woods at the age of five to escape enemy soldiers during a religious war. But while his family and the rest of the village returned to their homes, after the danger had passed, young John was too terrified to come out of hiding. I wonder why his parents didn't take him with them. Hmm. He struck off alone into the depths of the forest, where he survived for 16 years on roots and wild berries. Very healthy. John finally returned to society at age 21, when he was caught trying to steal food from a local farm. According to Digby, John eventually began talking again, but his heightened senses dulled once he was back in civilization. I wonder how many children have had their senses dulled by civilization. Next we have Peter the Wild Boy. In the summer of 1725, a naked and mute adolescent boy was found living alone in the woods of northern Germany. The child was brought before the British King George I who took a liking to him hmm, and had him shipped <laughs> to his court. I guess if you're the king, you can do that. Christened Peter, the boy soon became the toast of London and he was regularly trotted out as a party favour to entertain royal guests. Trotted out, treated like an animal, I imagine. Nobles were fascinated by the wild boy's habit of scurrying about on all fours and they laughed at his disregard for table manners and his penchant for picking pockets and trying to kiss ladies of the court. Attempts to civilize Peter failed. He never learned to speak and preferred to sleep on the floor. So he was eventually sent to the countryside where he lived until his death in 1785. Yep. If you can't conform to the way things are or the way people want you to be, that's what happens. The third wild child is Marie Angelique. In 1731, the French village of Songy was stunned by sightings of a wild young woman armed with a wooden club. An early version of Tomb Raider, perhaps. This savage girl of Champagne was clad in animal skins and a tattered dress and appeared to be anywhere from 10 to 18 years old, depending on the source. She was also astonishingly strong for her size. She had once even killed a local guard dog with her club. 
When villagers finally lured the young woman out of the trees, they were amazed to discover that she spoke only in animalistic whoops and squeaks and preferred to eat raw meat, often skinning and biting into the carcass of a fresh kill on the spot. In time, the girl learned to speak French and grew more civilized, and she was later baptized under the name Mary, Marie, excuse me, Angelique Mémé Leblanc, and sent to live in a convent. There you go. So, the source is history.com, and a link will be posted online along with the article. A few thoughts crossed my mind as I read the article. Here are my thoughts and notes. Do we treat children any better today than we did in the past? I guess we've got some kind of better health care for them in general. What do you think? Why don't you oops, why don't you let me know? We are still testing and analyzing everything to the nth degree. Why? Why? Why are we studying children so much? Why are we testing children so much? In school, it's just test after test after day after day. In fact, we have so many tests that relate to nothing more than other tests. What is the relationship of tests to the real world? What do you think? Not saying they can't be good, but... Schools are just poor environments unaccountable for their output. Which are people who become shaped like products. What do you think? Let me know. We put more thought into the design of cafes and bars than schools. Just look around you. Tell me it's not true. And shouldn't we just let the kids be kids? Let them explore the world through a natural process of guidance rather than shaping by an overflow of information. So, why don't you uh, post your opinions? If you want, you can share this video online. It would be helpful. Remember, more information can be found at our home site, the Center for Educational Theory and Research. NSA means Native Speakers Academy. The web address is www.nsa-slovakia.com. Remember, you can find the original article online as well. It might be worth going and having a look at it and supporting the author. Again, this is about all we have time for today. This is the first official video post. There were some tests done previously. If you want to check out the tests, you'll find them on our YouTube page. If you're interested, we also do special one-to-one -one English language study courses. Just send us an email and we will give you the details. If there's a subject you want us to cover, if there's a special video presentation you want us to make, let us know, drop us a line, and we will see what we can do. Like, subscribe, do, wha do whatever you want. Uh, you know the score. Uh, bye for now, and another short video will be posted soon. Take care.